in the house of Kentarius Medical. I'm Greg Mead and today we're going to break words about the muscles of the scapula. The scapula has 18 muscles, 12 of them has origins, for example, ulmohyoid muscle, uh, a few fibers of the tissues, dorsi, teres minor, teres major, infraspinatus, supraspinatus, subscapularis, long and short head of biceps brachii, uh, long head of triceps brachii, deltoid muscle, and a coracobrachialis uh, muscle. But we're focusing on the muscles who has insertion. So today first we're going to say something about trapezius. It's quite vast muscle, it has three origins, three insertions, and let's start. Um, descending part of trapezius origin is over here. This is external occipital protuberance. And afterwards uh, there is a superior neuhal line and this middle third of superior neuhal line is origin and of course a neuhal ligament and all spinous processes of cervical vertebra and insertion of pieces over here this is lateral third of clavicle and then we have transverse part or middle division is from spinous process of T1 till T5 and it goes inserts over here this is a superior border and draws a chromium process back right and then we have ascending part of trapezius it goes from T6 till T T12 don't forget underneath there is origin for latissimus dorsi as well and inserts middle uh, middle third of uh, spine of scapula as well nerve supply for pain and proprioception it gets from cervical nerve C3 and C4 and then uh, we have spinal accessory nerve which is part of cranial nerve 11 and uh, gives uh, motor innervation from central nervous system to two neck muscles one is uh, sternocleidomastoid muscle and another is trapezius uh, muscle and for the injury sometimes it can happen that spinal accessory nerves gets a paralysis and then we'll have a lateral winging of uh, the lateral border of scapula of course in the contrast to uh, long thoracic nerve which innervates serratus anterior all right um, spinal accessory nerve is quite superficial in subcutaneous tissue in the area called uh, posterior cervical triangle and now because uh, my skeleton has ankylosis I cannot I cannot move the scapula I invited uh, one uh, friends of mine, medical student from Banja Luka, Alex, uh, and together we're going to show, just go uh, um, like this, and we're going to show you some moves. But before we're going to do it, if you can just zoom in this, we said, you know, how you know which, which part is where? You just follow the fibers. This will be descending, descending part, descending part, right? And I'm going like this. And this will be transverse part. We're going from origin to insertion. This will be ascending part. It's going up. Yeah? All right. Um, trapezius has basically three main moves. Uh, descending part, it does elevation. Make elevation, right? And scapula goes up. You know, you can even see it. Right, this is one move. And then transverse part, it, it do uh, a deduction of scapula. This is again a deduction of scapula, right? And then we have uh, a deduction and depression. This will be this move. You a deduct and depress the scapula. And now we another video. We're going to talk about levator scapula and pectoralis minor. Thank you.